Now, if we thought Kev Brown knew everything there was to know about Newcastle, we're joined now by a man who knows even more. He's Director of Rugby here at Newcastle, Dennis Betts. Thank you. A very smiley Dennis. Thank you for joining I'm us. Always smiling. Dennis. Let's start, Dennis, by what exactly your role entails here. Um, well, everything, really. I said, well, oh, I'm, I'm, involved in, I'm involved in a rugby league tide. It's like uh, I take the bins out, I take <laughs> training sessions, I sweep the changing rooms. If you're involved in rugby league, you've got to be willing. The title doesn't mean anything. I'm just here to make this place better. So like, I facilitate an environment where we can try and be the most successful side we can possibly be. You could teach Kev a lesson too. Though. I've, taught, <laughs> I've taught him quite a few lessons. <laughs> the, only, the only problem with Kev is he doesn't ever take the bins out. And his wife likes to tuck him in when he's on the couch. <laughs> Dennis, just on that note, You've got a lot of Wigan players tonight. How is it? How important is it having such a good connection with Wigan? Oh, it's been outstanding for us this year. They're, they've been a little bit of a lifeline. We've, we're in this stage where we're forming a team and we, we need that kind of environment where they've got some surplus players and let's not lie about it. They've got players that are a very high standard. They've picked up from the championship. They've also got players that are super league standard players that need to play. The, um, at the moment, the reserve grade plays every other week, so we've got a chance to actually help them develop their players. But because we're a full time environment, it gives them a chance to hold on to that a similar kind of mentality when they come up here and, and bring the standards that I expect from the players that are here yeah. to be replicated by those players. Yeah, so obviously, you've been director of rugby for a long time now. Your relationship with Herman's really good, but do you miss coaching? How much coaching do you do? Again, it's I do quite a bit, I would, but I'm here to help Eamon, I'm here to support Eamon in his role as the head coach. At the moment, there's only Eamon and we have another man called Michael Heap, who is an assistant coach here as well. But there's a lot to do and there's a lot going on. So I, I support Eamon, I'm on the field every single day, but Eamon takes the lead and, and runs the sessions. But I, I do some coaching, I work with I work with attack more than anything else yeah. at this moment in time. And what was it about Eamon that you wanted to bring him in? Oh, his, his work ethic, he's always... He's tough. He's he's the kind of player that you want. It's just I just wish he'd have played more for me when he was a witness. He <laughs> was one too. of those players that he, he actually played and he gave everything he possibly had. And he's one of those. And he's doing that in his coaching. He's really diligent. He works exceptionally hard and he cares so much about the players. And he's been he's been fantastic here since I brought him up here. And he's um, he's been a real asset and will go on to be a very successful. Um, good coach. Agreed. Dennis, it was uh, stated by the club, but by 2030, when you took over, by 2030, you want to win Super League. What does a pathway look like for that to happen? The pathway? Well, we had to get started. At the moment, we're in that forming stage. And if you're going to have a goal, what goal is there? That you want to aim for what? We want to aim for the stars. I'm not saying it's not achievable, but we believe that if we're going to set ourselves a goal, it's not just to win the championship, it's not to be in Super League. Our goal is to win the competition. We gave ourselves to 2030. I actually wanted 2040, if I'm being honest. It gives me a bit more time. But in 2030, and also now, so that pathway entails becoming a full-time team. We've been six months, we've been a full-time team. So we're in that stage. So six months ago, we didn't have a full-time team. We didn't have enough players. So then we had to start, we had to recruit, we had to bring players up to Newcastle. You've come up tonight. It's not the easiest trip to get to. It's not the easiest place to find. It's a nice drive. And when you're here, nobody wants to leave. My job is to bring people into this part of the world and show them what the North East has to offer. And then we're on the pathway. We're, on, we're actually on it now. We're in the championship. We're competing in the championship. Next year will be another step on that ladder of being further up in the championship table, becoming a better team, full-time team. And how important is your academy to reaching them goals? Your academy, your academy well, side? We, we played Jewsbury a couple of weeks ago. We had a couple of injuries during the week. We lost a player just in the warm-up in Jack Johnson. We had to give lads debuts. We pulled lads out from university and we came, we came away with a win. That is, it doesn't look much on paper. It doesn't look like a significant win. But when you speak to him and you speak to our academy staff and you, and you look inwardly at how important that game was and those lads that stepped up and we got a win at Jewsbury under under tough circumstances so it was great for us well dennis you're absolutely right it is a very special place here and you don't want to leave when you've arrived so thank you very much for having us and thank you for joining us best of luck tonight